Good afternoon. This is Tina. Uh, this video is a second, a third way of uh, requiring uh, modules. I think this video is a duplicated one because I remember I had a video long time ago, which is called about cached, uh, cached something, cached object. Okay, this is the same one, but I'm going to do again. These videos I'm recording now is actually yes kind of like uh, uh, yes the words called a complementary, which is to match the slides I created. Okay, because previously I didn't didn't make those, I didn't make a uh, videos for each slides. So now let's uh, start Okay, for the pattern 3. Uh, by the way, all the demos you can download from the GitHub link, uh, GitHub link in the source code uh, inside the description. Okay. Now, which is pattern 3. I think I... Uh, this one? I think it is this one. This one is uh, the, the same, same one. Anyway, we'll create another one. Okay. So pattern three, we will create a new file called pattern three, P -A -T -E, pattern three dot js. And also I will create a app dot js file. Okay, so in pattern three, we are gonna do is first we create a person, which is a class and it has a constructor, which is a name, okay. Which is this dot name equals name. So the per each person gonna have a name, right? And uh, uh, we can have a method called set get a name, and we can return this dot name. Okay. And now we can do is uh, you can also provide a get a setters as you want. Okay. We can do is uh, module dot exports equals new uh, person which is means x i n g okay so this is uh, how we uh, export uh, which is uh, whenever the in the app.js require or other js file require this pattern three this module you are gonna get a new person uh, then let's go to our app.js okay uh, let's go to our, uh, first we require const uh, const uh, p1 equals uh, require dot slash pattern 3 okay and then we're using p1 dot get a name okay we will know that what's the value of this one print it out you are saying miss x i n g right then we can use in p1.name to change the value, right? Actually, we don't need to have this one. Okay, we can directly use in p1.name console.log console console p1.name. Okay, it will also give you the same value. It's going to be the same as this get name, okay? And uh, because it's a setter getter, okay? p1.name, if I change to be tina x i n g. If I print out again, you will say you will get the uh, Tina X I N G again, right? But now what I'm going to do is uh, const P two equals require pattern three again, and now I console dot log P one dot name. What do you think of the value? Okay, the value here is it won't be miss x i n g because when I require right when I require this should be whatever returned right when I require so we expect here the value is mix miss x i n g but not okay let me show you here okay and the node app dot js you will see miss x mix x i n g which is the first console and when we require again you won't get this object okay you will get this one actually which is a tina x i n g so this one is kind of like a cache okay. okay uh for doing this way this is uh, not good practice not good practice 
okay uh, in your code you shouldn't do like this way because otherwise if you if we require in another application it is still gonna be changed let me oh we cannot uh, we cannot because uh, we cannot if we run again it's gonna be another one. anyway the idea here is when you want to export you don't do like this way and we're gonna teach you how to do it in next video okay the correct way and here you can see this p1 is actually cached oh oh sorry sorry this should be p2 p2 is still the same okay p2 is still the same p2 is still the same okay e even though we require again we're using p2 it still be the cached and the value is tina x and don't do like this way this is not a good uh practice okay uh, uh that's it for this video which is uh, um when we have an object we directly return an object in our module export don't do like don't do like this in your application because the object can be cached okay you're gonna get the same object everywhere like a singleton uh, thank you for watching this video uh, see you next video and the next video gonna tell you how to solve the problem okay bye bye